I was drowning in complex AI work last year when I discovered that the secret to becoming an effective AI engineer wasn't to come up with a new framework or algorithm, it was to use these colorful sticky notes. And these sticky notes helped me become a senior AI engineer. And in this video, I will explain how you can implement a similar system to manage your work effectively. Let's get into it. First, I wanted to show my contribution graph at work for the year 2024. In 2024, I made over 1,800 contributions. And that's not just quantity. This represents consistent work on AI projects and systems to help me reach senior engineer. But reaching this level wasn't just about working harder. It was about having a system that cuts through the chaos that derails most engineers on a daily basis. So your end goal really is to be able to become more productive without necessarily working harder. So how do you achieve this? Well, a lot of projects in our industry have a project board like this. And these digital project boards are standardized in the industry. They organize work by project phase and assignee, so you can easily see what everyone on your team is actually working on. Now, experienced engineers understand that while these tools help with the team overview, they kind of lack showing your personal priorities across multiple projects, especially on a daily or weekly basis. When you're, for example, struggling with different deep learning tasks across three AI projects with competing deadlines, how do you decide what deserves your focus right now and what you should do today? So this is really the pain point of a lot of engineers. We sit at our computers thinking, you know, which model training needs my attention first, or should I be debugging that latency issue instead? Especially if you get messages from colleagues on Slack or Teams, you might be inclined to drop your current work and just help them out. And that is a good thing in a lot of cases. But the problem is, Having no focus at all leads you to not be productive with your own work items. So we are constantly context switching between projects, losing deep focus. And that's a big problem because deep focus is what AI work demands. Therefore, many engineers end the day having been busy, but wondering if they push the needle forward on anything meaningful. So you might be solving minor bugs, but you miss opportunities to make architectural improvements that would actually advance your career. So my personal breakthrough came when I just created a physical sticky note board. This is a physical board that's in my office and the sticky board really helped me. The idea behind this board is that I have three columns. The first column is for all the sticky notes across my projects. And I personally have three rows to just limit myself to three projects at once, ideally. Then the second column is for all of my in-progress work. This work could see some kind of blocker. Maybe another team needs to have a look at my code, but in any case, that's work that I'm currently actively involved with. And then I have a section for my daily work and a really fun section where I get to put all the sticky notes of work that's actually done. So really what I do is I kind of convert these team-based digital project boards into my personal project board. So for example, I might have a couple of projects here, like evaluating a model, creating a training pipeline for a new model and doing some front-end rework. Now what I do next is I, again, convert those personal items assigned to me from those team projects into simple sticky notes. For example, implementing a hallucination check, debugging a bug, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna put all these sticky notes into the corresponding projects. And what I do then is I figure out, well, which items are currently in flight? Which items am I actually contributing to at the moment? And that could be, you know, maybe one sticky note per project. And then at the start of my day, I figure out which of these items I can actually contribute to on that day. So for example, I might be able to work on the visualization component and resolve the CPU bottleneck. Now these items can move a bit of back and forth depending on whether I actually finish them on the day itself. But the point is, is that when I start my morning, I only really look at the sticky notes in this section. And here's a critical technique that really helped me reach the next level. I physically take one of the sticky notes and place it directly on my monitor or laptop. And that creates a singular focus point that keeps me locked on high impact work. When I complete the task, of course, I move it to the done row like this. And what's really enjoyable about it is that at the end of the week, I take all of the sticky notes in the done section and I just crumble them up and throw them away because I know I'm done with the work. And that physical element is pretty satisfying. So this system works for me because it leverages a couple of psychological principles. First, the physical act of moving notes around really creates a stronger mental commitment to me than clicking digital checkboxes. And secondly, just having one task physically on my monitor eliminates the multitasking temptation that destroys a lot of deep work. And lastly, seeing completed notes accumulate in this done section is a really great tangible bit of evidence of progress that fuels my motivation that's really needed for the challenging AI work that I do. Especially because even though in a week I create a lot of code, having that code just shown to me on a monitor doesn't give me the same feeling as actually being able to write off a lot of sticky notes like this. It's a physical system after all. 
So if you use a physical node system like this, you develop the focused execution that ultimately leads into that dense contribution graph I showed you at the beginning, the mark of a top 1% AI engineer. Now, if this video helped you and you're serious about advancing your AI engineering career, or you're just getting started with it, you should join my school community. The link is in the description below.